It was a clear sunny day outside. It was almost evening. The sky was lit up with purple clouds. There were not very many people near Hengcheng University, and Song Ping was riding his bike past. The girls all over the place chirped how cool he was, while the guy was in a hurry to give the order to one girl. The girl was unhappy that she had been waiting for him for five whole minutes. Why couldn't he just call later? The guy apologized. He just had some problems along the way. After picking up her package, the girl told him not to do the delivery anymore. Having given the last order, the guy exhaled from fatigue, but this could not spoil his good mood because today was salary day. And when he gets his salary, the first thing he will do is buy a new phone for Sai Oki. Encouraged by this event, the young man got back on his bike, and on the way he noticed a girl with pink hair who was crossing the road. The guy recognized Sai Oki in her, but did not understand how she got there and where she was going. Meanwhile, Shen Yuki was heading towards the brunette Hu Yohan, who was waiting for her, leaning on his red car. Taking off his sunglasses, the guy asked what she would eat, he could take her. The girl replied that she wanted a bitch yaki. At this time, somewhere off to the side, Song Ping was running to them and calling the girl. Hu Yuhan pulled the girl to him and hugged her around the waist, but she didn't quite like it because they were still on campus. From running, Song Ping gradually moved to a walk, because he saw his girlfriend with another guy. His face was very sad from what he saw. Finally, Zai Oki noticed the guy and asked why he came here, and let him not invent anything like that. He and the young man were going to just eat. The brunette asked the girl who the guy next to her was. Zai Oki told him that it was just one senior student helping her with her work. Song Ping only snorted in response, turned around and walked in the other direction, leaving in the end that he was waiting for her for dinner. Meanwhile, who asked if it was her boyfriend? And the girl reproachfully replied that she asked him not to come to her university. Sitting together in the back seat of the car, the boy placed Zai Oki's hand on his knee and asked him not to be angry with him, tucking a strand of pink hair behind her ear. He handed the beautiful pendant to the girl. The girl liked her very much, and then the man kissed her passionately, running his hand under the jacket. At this time, while the car drove off, the brunette stood on the road, clutching money for a part-time job in his hands. All this is happening because he has no money. The girl traded him for a rich man. Angry, the young man threw the band note on the ground and trampled it. Then he just moved on. But after walking just a few meters ahead, Song Ping returned and raised money from the ground because he could not refuse a penny that he had earned by his own labor. A little later, the guy returned to his hostel. Entering the room, he saw that his roommate was watching a stream of some blogger. By the way, the neighbor's name was Ma Liang. The redhead noticed that something was clearly wrong with his neighbor and therefore asked him if everything was all right with him. Song Ping replied that everything was fine. He was just a little tired at work and wanted to get some rest as soon as possible. And then he climbed onto the second floor of his bed and just covered himself with a blanket, without even taking off his clothes. Ma Liang did not understand what had happened to his neighbor that he returned so drooping. But then he just went back to his computer and noticed that someone gave the girl from the stream as many as 100 airplanes, which was quite expensive. If only he could someday become so rich. Hearing about the ill-fated money, Song Ping only sighed heavily. He even let out a mean tear, which fell on the phone that lay under the guy's cheek. And the phone strangely began to glow. The young man opened one eye, not understanding what was happening to him. Some strange plate came out, where it was said, The greatest treasure, identification is completed. Then information about the owner appeared there. Song Ping, male, 20 years old, height 173 centimeters, weight 55 kilograms. The guy could not understand at all what it was and what it meant. However, it still says intelligence is 10, strength is 10, charisma is 5, agility is 5, energy is 4, and luck is 8. The guy doubted whether the numbers were accurate. From somewhere a female voice was heard, which said that the guy, moreover, was also a loser. Out of nowhere, a girl in a white suit appeared, who seemed to descend on wings. She introduced herself as Lulu. She was very small and most likely would fit in his one palm. Had this baby been talking to him all this time? Meanwhile, the baby announced that from now on he is her new owner. Let him be a loser, but he was very lucky. The guy did not yet understand what it all meant, but he was clearly already fascinated by this baby. The girl explained to him that he had already become the owner of the greatest treasure and now all rights belonged to him. This system appeared even before he matured, and only now was installed on his phone. Song Ping asked what the greatest treasure was, and the girl replied that in this application, you can get coins for completing various tasks. You can then pay for purchases with coins, or exchange them for real money. One coin equals one yuan. The guy was in shock, but the girl said that it was time for them to start the first task. A little later, Song Ping stretched on the bed, yawned, and thought what a strange dream he had had today. But when he decided to get into his phone, he couldn't believe his eyes. This strange app was actually installed on his phone. Was it all for real? The little fairy, Lulu, immediately landed on his blanket and said that this was not a dream. The guy got scared and screamed. This simply cannot be. 
Ma Yang from the first floor even got up from the table to the screams of his neighbor and asked what happened to him, since he was screaming so loudly. Bending over to Lil, Song Ping asked her in a whisper if his neighbor could see her, and she replied that ordinary people could not see her. Then he breathed a sigh of relief. Lulu, meanwhile, flew closer to him and said that he could check the application because he had already received one coin. Having opened the application, the guy really saw the amount on the balance sheet and asked the girl if he could really exchange them for real money. He pressed one button and the next moment he received an SMS from the bank. From such a guy fell out of reality a little, because until the last he did not believe that all this was true. He received as much as 10,000 yuan. It was just unrealistic for a guy. In disbelief, Sang Ping rubbed his eyes to make sure it was real. It just can't be. The guy frantically began to go down the stairs of the bed, because he urgently needs to go to the bank and make sure that everything is real. Meanwhile, Ma Yang was eating and asked the guy if he was finally awake. However, the neighbor did not answer, but simply flew out of the room like a bullet. The redhead cannot understand why his neighbor is behaving very strangely today. And then he noticed that from the sharp run of his friend, his chop fell out of his hands and now just lay on the floor. He so wanted to eat it. It was so tasty. And while no one saw, he just picked her up from the floor to eat. But when he was about to put it in his mouth, Song Ping burst into the room like a storm again, from which the food fell out of the hands of the red-haired guy again. He whined again and told his friend that he ruined his food. The guy awkwardly scratched his head and said that he would definitely treat him. His neighbor was very surprised. Is his friend going to buy him a chop? Sang Ping confirmed and walked behind Ma Liang. And then the redhead tilted his head back and asked if he wasn't going to buy a new phone for Sai Oki. After all, he himself gnawed some crusts, and now he suddenly has money. Remembering his girlfriend, the guy sadly replied that he would not buy a phone for her. And when asked by a neighbor about what happened, he replied that nothing. They just go out to eat because he invites. Looking at his monitor, Ma Yang was surprised that someone gave him a super rocket. One such super rocket costs as much as 1,000 yuan. Someone is very rich since he makes such gifts. Who is this person? And then suddenly Song Ping realized that money is no longer a problem for him. At this time, the girl Yu from the computer was thanking Gu Ming for giving her a super rocket. She keeps her word, and as she said, the one who gives her a super rocket will be able to add her as a friend in WeChat. Ma Yang violently slammed his palm on the table, getting angry at Gu Ming. And how the hell does he watch Yu's blog too? Various comments popped up on the screen including about their room 314, in which the guys have no money even for a gift to such a cool blogger. The redhead just swore at that. Ma Yang continued to swear at Gu Ming, who set everything up as if on purpose. Last time he heard that the redhead likes Yu from their uni, and now he deliberately humiliates him in the general chat. Ma Yang decided to write to the opponent directly in the comments under the video. To the question of the redhead that Gu Ming forgot here, because he doesn't like Yu Yu, the guy replied that he always considered this girl beautiful, Therefore he could not stand it and bought her a super rocket as a gift. But Ma Liang himself, looking at the girl for so long, and what did he give her? Especially his friend Sung Ping, who delivered delivery all day long, but does he even have money for delivery? Can Ma Liang also go to the delivery? Maybe then he will earn on one rocket at least in a month. The guy kept on arguing, and he decided to make Gu Ming not look his best, telling the girl that he had said all sorts of nasty things about her in the group a few days ago. The girl asked the guys not to quarrel and said that she added Gu Ming as a friend. The redhead was indignant why he did this, because just a second ago he told her that that guy was bad. Song Ping, who had been standing behind his friend before, asked him not to boil like that, because what was the point of fighting such a bastard like him? Ma Liang couldn't accept the fact that Gu Ming would definitely deceive the girl. Song Ping asked if he really wanted to add Yu as a friend, and he replied that it was his lifelong dream. And then the brunette decided to help his neighbor and asked him to get up from his chair to which he seemed to have already rooted. He sat down in his place and pressed the button of the super rocket to the screams of a neighbor. The redhead didn't understand what the guy was doing. At this time, in the women's dormitory of Hangcheng University, Yu flew into Feifei with some news. She was given a super rocket today and immediately earned a few hundred. Feifei, the blonde, turned to her side and asked who is so rich. Yu replied to the neighbor that apparently he was a rich student from their university, and she even added him as a friend on WeChat. Looking at the monitor, the girls really made sure that it was a super rocket, and such a thing should be noted. Of course, Yu will write a vlog about this, and then they will eat something delicious. Picking up her pink microphone, the girl said hello to the camera. She is recording this vlog to once again thank Gu Ming for giving her a super rocket. At this time, a notification came on the computer that the girl was presented with as many as three new super rockets, and it was Ma Liang. The girl went into a slight shock. 
and then she thanked the other guy for the new missiles. At that time, the redhead simply did not understand where his neighbor got so much money for these missiles. Sung Ping received a notification on his phone that he had received a lot of money, which made Ma Liang simply stupefied. Sung Ping wrote on behalf of a neighbor and asked Yue to add him as a friend because he bought her three whole rockets. Meanwhile, in room 208, where Gu Ming was, he was lamenting the beggar idiot Ma Liang. Where does he even get so much money for super rockets? Major was very unhappy with this. Picking up her microphone again, Yu Yu thanked Mao Yang for the super rocket and said that she also added him as a friend. At this time, Major Gu Ming only snorted at such antics of the opponent. In his opinion, Mao Yang was ready to do anything to get the girl, even spent 3,000 on gifts. Most likely, he spent all his corsage money accumulated in two months. Gu Ming's neighbor Zheng Gang who was standing next to him, asked if he was talking about the rogue in their group. The blonde replied that yes, because this idiot made him laugh a lot. I spent 3000 on a gift for a blogger to show off in front of everyone. The blogger from their university, Yu Yu, is indeed a very beautiful girl. Therefore, it is not surprising that the loser Ma Liang likes her so much. The shaven-headed neighbor said that her neighbor was also nothing like that. Gu Ming suddenly got excited about his idea and asked his friend what if he would ask you out on a date in the evening. Then he can ask her to bring her neighbor with her for a friend. Gan asked if her friend got her wet chat, and the blonde replied that yes and was even very proud of it. He spent 1,000 yuan and the girl couldn't resist his money. It was cool. At this time in room 314, Ma Liang was beside himself with happiness because the girl still added him as her friend. He was terribly pleased, but then he still asked his neighbor where he got such a lot of money. Song Ping hesitated for a while, but then quickly realized and replied that he just won the lottery. The redhead was surprised and asked how much he won. The brunette awkwardly replied that 50,000 yuan. From such a sum, Ma Liang's jaw just dropped. It definitely needed to be noted. Be sure to note. While changing his shirt, Song Ping said that they should wait until Xiaokai returned and then they could go and have dinner together. From such joyful news, Ma Liang even decided to go to wash. At this time, Song Ping opened this application on his phone, where a new task was sent for him. He had to visit an expensive restaurant and spend more than 5,000 yuan and then he would receive two coins as a reward. This task seemed too easy for the guy. Did you just have to spend money and that's it? Then Lulu suddenly crawled out from behind his shoulder and asked the guy not to be so happy, because the first few tasks would help him join a rich life. And then the real missions begin. The guy didn't care what kind of tasks were waiting for him, because he was ready to do absolutely everything. He can finally change everything. Suddenly, Song Ping received a new WeChat message, and the guy saw that it was his girlfriend, Shen Yuki, who wrote that she wanted to meet him. Song Ping was standing on the street, near the university dormitory, waiting for his girlfriend, holding a box with a brand new cool phone. Then he turned in her direction, where the girl came running, slightly out of breath. The young man somehow impassively handed her a box with a phone, which she did not expect at all. She didn't even have the right words, and the guy continued to say that he knew that she no longer needed a phone, but he still promised it to her, and now they'll never see each other again. The girl certainly did not expect such words from him and did not understand what he was saying. The guy was not made with a finger and said that although he was the most ordinary guy, he would certainly be able to do without her. Song Ping turned around, and, leaving her in the end not to judge people by money, left. The girl stood confused until that rich man in his suit approached her from behind and asked if they had broken up. He told her that they were going to eat seafood in the evening and led her in the other direction, but the pink-haired girl was still a little upset. At this time, on the Hancheng shopping street, the guys were walking and having fun. Ma Yang was still in great happiness and did not let up. I could not believe that they would actually eat in an expensive restaurant. The brunette only nodded and said that he was treating. For the redhead, everything seemed so classy and gorgeous. He had never been to such places, however, like Song Ping himself. The restaurant administrator asked the guys who entered how many people there would be, and when the brunette replied that there were three of them, just one had not yet arrived, a girl named Yang Xin escorted them to a table. Ma Yang was stunned by the ideal figure of a girl. It seemed that the evening could not be better. All the waitresses in this establishment were simply beautiful, and Song Ping asked a friend if it was good to be rich now. Ginger asked if Song Ping didn't think it was worth spending money just like that, even if he won the lottery. They'll try once and that's enough. No need to order overpriced meals. At this time, Gu Ming also entered the restaurant with Yu Yu and his neighbor with a blonde girlfriend. Of course, the major began to tell that there is the most delicious European cuisine in the area of their university. And of course, he often comes here. It's incredibly delicious here. The blogger's neighbor turned to her friend and said that she had heard that the average check in this establishment is more than 500 yuan and this is really the highest class. Yu Yu, of course, was very impressionable with such attention and the choice of a companion. 
In addition, the inside was incredibly beautiful and expensive. Gu Ming replied that it was nothing to him and they could certainly come here more often if she wanted to. The shaven-headed friend also agreed, trying to please the blonde girl. Her eyes sparkled too, having embraced his companion. The blonde invited everyone to choose a table. However, Yu Yu did not quite like the fact that the guy touched her bare shoulder and therefore she awkwardly threw off his hand, which angered the guy a little. In his opinion, she is just pretending to be an innocent sheep. In the end, the guy said that they need to find a table with sofas. At that time, there was another person at the entrance. However, they didn't want to let him in so easily. The guard told the young man that in the form in which he came, you can't enter this institution. And this scene was noticed by Gu Ming. The young guy turned out to be Song Ping's second neighbor, Wu Kai. He had short cut hair, dyed pink, and was dressed simply in a white t-shirt and shorts. Gu Ming just couldn't stand aside and humiliate anyone. Folding his arms over his chest, the blonde sneered, was there really another loser from room 314? At this time, Wu Kai apologized to the guard and said that he was expected here. He was surprised that the guy would eat here, and the young man replied that he was meeting his friends here, who most likely had already come and were waiting for him. Gu Ming laughed and asked Wu Kai if he knew what this place was, and are they, rogues, going to eat in such an expensive place? Wu Kai did not stand aside and rudely answered the guy. What does it matter to him at all? No one asks him. The blonde wanted to say something, but Sayakai was already called by the guys. Song Ping and Ma Liang went out to meet their friend and told the guard that he was their friend. Well, Ming could not accept the fact that these losers came to such an expensive place, and therefore did not lag behind the guys, bullying them all the time. Ma Liang saw the blonde here for the first time and asked him what he was doing here. Gu Ming took out a black VIP guest card and said that he was a regular visitor to this restaurant. Do they even know what this place is? And why did they come here? Song Ping asked. Why don't they come here? The girls at this time stood around the corner, watching the verbal skirmish. Yu asked her neighbor who these guys were, and she replied that she knew the brunette. He delivers around campus and even delivered her order very late today. But how does he have so much money to eat in such a place? The girl with lilac hair thought that most likely someone had invited him. She was adorable in her pink dress adorned with bunnies, and even one big plush rabbit in the form of a handbag was her accessory. Gu Ming decided to introduce Yu to a guy who spent all the money to buy her three super rockets and chat. The redhead was unhappy that he exposed everything like that, while disgracing the guy. But the blonde continued. Was he telling lies? Didn't Ma Liang want to meet Yu Yu? So he introduces them. The blonde turned to the girl and told her not to look at the fact that the guy gave her gifts, because as he was a rogue, he will remain so. The girl was a little confused and asked her companion why he was saying that. Gu Ming replied that he just didn't want to be deceived. Ma Liang added her in WeChat and only likes to pretend to be rich. And he found out that today she will be in this restaurant, which is why she shows off. Ma Liang was ready to pounce on the blonde for such words and slander, but he had already taken the girl towards the hall to eat and see how the rogue will show off in front of them here. The blonde asked the waiter to let them at least look at the menu. The man showed them the way to the table. Seeing that his red-haired friend had completely drooped, Song Ping put his arm around his shoulders and asked him not to be upset and give up on those idiots, because the three of them have an amazing dinner ahead of them. However, Ma Liang, drooping, replied that they were telling the truth, because if not for the brunette's win, he would never have been able to come here. Even if he added Yu Wuya as a friend, he wouldn't have the money to take her anywhere. Soon Ping asked his friend why he got the idea that they would be beggars all their lives. At this time, the third neighbor, Wu Kai, decided to still ask what happened and why they were having dinner in such an expensive place. Song Ping decided to keep a little intrigue and invited everyone to the table, with the promise to tell everything in detail over dinner. Ironically, the opponent's tables turned out to be opposite each other. Gu Ming, looking at the menu, thought about saving money on food because he had already spent enough money on a gift for Yu Yu. In the end, when the waiter came, he ordered four mori steaks and soup with beef, mushrooms and cheese. Turning to his guys, he said that he knew this restaurant like the back of his hand and, in which case, he would definitely tell them. The girl next to her seemed pleased with how their dinner was going. The blonde overheard an order from a nearby table. Sung Ping ordered three fillets, three French foie gras salads, and a bottle of French wine. The girl who took the order repeated everything she was told, while naming the price. The blonde at the next table did not understand how this was possible. How could such poor guys afford such expensive food? Maybe they're just throwing dust in their eyes. He will definitely bring them to clean water, no matter what. However, the pink-haired waitress told the young master that their total order was 4,960 yuan. And if they ordered 8,000 yuan today, they could get a customer's VIP card. Gu Ming was pleased with this turn and was eager to see what this Sung Ping would do now. However, the brunette did not live up to any of his expectations, because he ordered the same thing for the girls at the next table and opened a bottle of wine for them. 
Everyone was shocked by this. Gu Ming thought that this idiot was just bullying him. At this time, the girls at the next table had already been brought food that Song Ping had ordered for them. They were pleasantly surprised by this gift. What Song Ping ordered looked much more appetizing than what Gu Ming ordered. The brunette turned to the blonde and said that since he has money, he did not order anything from him, and let the lovely ladies help themselves and enjoy delicious food. Yu sincerely thanked the boy, she was very happy. However, Gu Ming didn't like it and got angry at such a showy gesture. Why do girls eat the food Sung Ping ordered? He has money too. And he, too, will order something more expensive and tastier. Yu Yu's neighbor said that it was not necessary at all, because the food had already been brought. Yu Yu also supported her, because you shouldn't waste so much money just like that. Gu Ming just cursed. Nothing worked out. There was a lot of fun at the next table. Song Ping and his friends clinked glasses to drink. They had fun and really enjoyed the evening. The blonde looked askance at him. Let him laugh while he can. And then he'll watch the guy laugh afterwards. I spent so much money, and then you will start crying. After some time, Song Ping called the waitress to order two more servings of ice cream. From this, Gu Ming just turned to stone. Where does this guy get so much money from? The girl returned with trays in her hands, where there are two bottles of wine, and handed him a black card with the words that now Sung Ping is their VIP guest. They have already sent information about the privileges to his phone. Taking the black card, Sung Ping thanked the girl. Gu Ming was beside himself with rage. Let this jerk just wait, and he will make him show his real rogue face. Having barely finished their grief dinner, the couples headed for the exit, and Gu Ming asked his companion where she wants to go next. The girl smiled sweetly and said that nowhere because she and her friend would go back to the hostel. As the boys saw the girls off, Gu Ming was finally able to let off steam. He slammed his fist hard on the stone wall, not knowing what to do with his anger. His shaven-headed friend put his hand on his shoulder and said that this jerk always has no money, so why did he become so rich? And the blonde will definitely find out what's the matter. Meanwhile, the three guys also left the restaurant, saying goodbye to the polite waitress. Ma Liang was happy that he had eaten so deliciously, because he had never tasted better food in his life. All this seemed very suspicious to Kai, so he asked a neighbor where he got so much money from. Song Ping replied that he won the lottery, and this lie was easier for him than the first time because he said it easily and quickly. From the answer, the friend caught fire and immediately asked how much he had won. Around the corner, they were overheard by Gu Ming's neighbor, who realized that Song Ping's secret was that he had won the lottery. That's where he got a lot of money. He will definitely share this news with his friend. A little later, in room 314, the guys were minding their own business. As he undressed along the way, Wu Kai expressed his point of view that he felt Song Ping was being too impulsive. Of the 50,000 yuan, he has already spent as much as 8,000. But it seems that the brunette didn't care at all, because they hadn't eaten so well for a long time. Ma Liang broke into the conversation and asked sarcastically if they saw what kind of face Gu Ming had. It was so nice. But still, Wu Kai tells the truth, it's not worth spending so much money on food right away. We need to be more economical. Song Ping replied that he would slow down, because he still has a sense of proportion. Climbing to the second floor of the bed, the guy could finally get some rest and took his phone in his hands. He checked that the money appeared and was very happy about it. 20,000 yuan came to the card, which undoubtedly greatly cheered up the guy. Lulu appeared immediately and asked why the guy immediately changed everything for money. Coins can also be used in other ways. It seems that the guy did not know about this yet, therefore he felt a little embarrassed. Then Lulu began to explain to him that you can make purchases in the app store, and you can multiply treasures. By the way, the latter was very interested in Sung Ping. Then the fairy explained that his treasures are now at the lowest level, and when he multiplies them, they will have more functions. From somewhere below, Ma Liang asked a friend who he was talking to there. The Brunet quickly caught on and replied that nothing of the sort, and then he asked in a whisper how many coins are needed in order to multiply the treasures. The blue-haired woman replied that 10 coins would be enough for the first time, then there will be more and more. 10 coins is 100,000 yuan. That's a lot. However, Lulu asked the guy not to make a molehill out of molehills, because when the treasures multiply, they will have more functions, there will be more goods in the store, and there will also be more tasks. He will make money faster and faster. Having accepted and memorized all the information, the guy said that then he would complete a few more tasks. Tasks may vary depending on his life situation. A new task may appear when he is busy with something. Now the guy's treasure level allows him to complete two tasks at the same time. One task, earn a girl's kiss three coins. Two task, to calm young Zin five coins. After reviewing all the tasks, the brunette was not very happy. They seemed to him somehow stupid. 
Lulu replied that there are no stupid tasks. He just had to complete them and be done with it. Sung Ping had such a suspicion that Lulu came up with these tasks herself, but she denied this assumption and said that the tasks appear on their own. Resigned to this, the guy asked who Yang Xin was, and the little one replied that everyone who was on the assignments was his acquaintances or those whom he had recently met. On the next sunny morning, Song Ping stood in the bathroom and brushed his teeth diligently. Then he returned to his room, and when he put on his suit, Ma Yang, looking out from the top bunk, sleepily asked his friend where he was going so early on his day off. Song Ping did not go into details and said that he just had business and let him go back to sleep. A little later, Song Ping was already walking down the street, holding a phone in his hands. He thought about what Lulu had told him. Each day, tasks can change. And in order to multiply the treasures, he needs to complete one task per day. But how can he complete the tasks that are available to him now? A pink-haired girl stood in the way of the young man, who handed out leaflets and invited him to mix fitness. And then Sung Ping recognized in the girl the same waitress that she had been at the restaurant yesterday. She did not remember him, and Song Ping reminded him that he had come to have dinner with his friends yesterday. The girl remembered him as a student who spent 8,000 yuan for dinner. The guy asked the girl why she was handing out flyers, didn't she work in a restaurant? The girl awkwardly replied that she works a lot. The guy turned around and said goodbye that then he would not distract her. The girl was even a little confused by this, but the next second someone called her by name. It turns out that this particular girl was called Yang Xin. A male voice sarcastically asked if she was hiding there. But the girl was scared for a moment. Hearing the familiar name, Song Ping stopped. Meanwhile, three men stood in front of the girl, one in a burgundy suit, bald and with a tattoo, the rest on the sides of him, apparently his guards. The bald guy said that he could not find her for several days. But it turns out that she is hiding here. Yang Xin apologized to Mr. Hu and said that she wasn't hiding at all. She's just making money. The flyers that the girl was holding to her stomach began to slide out slightly from below, but no one noticed this because Mr. Hu suddenly approached the girl and hugged her from behind. He asked why she should work, because it was her father who lent the money, and if she is with him, then her father may not repay the debt. The girl stood with horror on her face, while the bald man promised to help with the treatment. The man began to paw her right in front of passers-by, while the girl rummaged to escape and asked to stop. He had a scorpion tattoo right on his face, which gave him an even more formidable and vile look. Upon hearing such a tempting offer rejected, Mr. Hu said that she would then have to hand over the money. Yang Xin tearfully asked for two more days, but the Lord was adamant. Suddenly, Song Ping's voice rang out. He asked the man directly how many boundaries he should, which shocked not only the girl, but also the man himself. He asked the guy who he was. Song Ping introduced himself as a friend of the pink-haired woman. Lighting a cigarette, Mr. Hu replied that the girl owed him 5,000 yuan. And then he asked the guy, can he really repay this debt for her? Yang Xin stepped forward and addressed Song Ping directly. After all, they hardly even know each other, and this is her problem, not his. So she will figure it out herself and return this debt herself. She then turned back to Mr. Hu and promised that the truth would return everything to him, only she needed only a day. The man smiled slyly and said that he could still give her two more days, but he had one condition, one night with her. The man's bodyguards immediately laughed out loud as the girl's heart sank silently. Uninvitedly, the man was thrown back, it was Sung Ping. Mr. Hu asked the guy if he really wanted his death. But the Brunet ignored this question and asked for his card number because he was ready to transfer money. Song Ping then took Yang Xin away from those bastards. However, the man did not want to let them go so easily. He said that the guy returned the debt, but he did not pay for hitting him on the arm. Then the man hit the guy in the face with all his might, and then they finally left. Yang Xin approached the new acquaintance and asked how he was, but it was clear from the guy's appearance that he did not feel very well. Both cheeks were red, with raspberries, and it seemed that the guy had completely passed out. After some time, Song Ping could barely open his eyes, which seemed terribly heavy. The first thing he saw in front of him was Yang Xin, who was leaking out of his face while he was lying on the sofa. Seeing that the guy woke up, she was delighted and finally breathed a sigh of relief. The young man did not understand where he was, because there was a very unfamiliar environment around, and the girl replied that he was at her house. In her pink clothes, she looked harmoniously on the pink sofa, and apparently, this was her favorite color. The guy got up a little and rubbing his head asked why and how he ended up at her house. Yang Xin explained to the young man that he had fainted and she had no other choice but to take him to her home to help. Seeing that the brunette wanted to get up, she ordered him to lie down and not get up, because his head would start to hurt even more. The boy flopped back into the pillow, exhaling heavily as the girl continued to tend to his wounds. He was so soft and pleasant. Soon the girl got up and went to the exit of the room, ordering him to have a good rest. And it's time for her to go to work. Then she thanked him for paying money for her, and she will definitely give it to him a little later. 
The guy did not want to inconvenience her, and therefore asked if it was really convenient that he was lying here on her couch. The girl replied that she lived alone, so he had nothing to worry about, no one would know that he was here. Also, she'll bring the medicine when she gets back, so he should definitely wait for her here. When the door slammed shut, the guy was left all alone in someone else's apartment. He sat up a little, wincing at the pain in his head. That bald donkey hit him pretty hard. Picking up the phone, Lulu immediately appeared in front of Song Ping, who said that he could not exchange all his coins for money because he had to increase his abilities. In the language of earthlings, these are the functions of the body. Signs appeared in front of the guy, where it was written mind, 10, strength, 10 and so on. In the treasure shop, you can buy pills to increase abilities. For example, by increasing the energy indicator, his skills and fights improve. The guy suddenly remembered that this is the same Yang Xin from the task, and he saw that the balance was replenished by five coins, because he helped her and now exfoliate to earn a kiss. Happy that he completed the task, the guy could now buy something from the app store. From the proposed tab there was everything from the previous list. Lulu appeared right then and there and began to tell that one pill costs one coin and they increase the features by one unit. But the first time you can increase by five units, and this is only once. The guy began to think out loud that if he bought one pill for energy, then it would only increase to nine, and then he would still not be able to live this bald man. Lulu replied that his energy is only six, and if he raises his level to nine, then he will not yield to the strength of even a soldier. Ultimately, Song Ping decided to buy energy, and this pill immediately appeared in his palm, and he immediately popped it into his mouth. It immediately felt good inside and the young man felt just fine. Undertaking, he began to think. What should he then spend the remaining four coins on, and found a bush with a plant with gases, but he does not yet know what it is. By clicking on this plant, a brief information about it came out. It turned out to be a universal plant that can cure any disease, as well as heal any wounds. Song Ping could not believe that just one plant could cure any disease at a time. Lulu, who was sitting at his shoulder, even agreed. The guy suddenly realized that he was rich. Three coins can buy this plant, which is equal to 30,000 yuan. If you sell it to someone you should, you can get 10 times more. And with wild enthusiasm, Song Ping pressed the button to buy it. In the next second, the guy already had a cone in his hands with a small green piece inside. The guy decided to exchange the remaining coin for money. How good it was to feel rich. At this time, Mr. Hu was sitting in his chair and bought a cigarette. He did not expect that Jerk Yang Zin he knew was so rich. One of the bodyguards confirmed and told the master that he needed to earn extra money from that guy. The bald man was sure that that moron would definitely not get off with 5,000 yuan. In addition, he wanted to take away his woman. And one blow would obviously not be enough. Half a day later, Yang Zin returned home and found Song Ping cleaning. She indignantly asked what he was doing and why he was not resting. In response, the guy said that he just did not want to be a burden and he was bored to rest, so he decided to clean up. The girl suddenly touched his small hand to his cheek and asked if his cheek still hurts and how he feels now. The guy, inspired by the views before his eyes, replied that he felt just fine and he was much better. All thanks to her. The girl sincerely thanked him for his help, and again promised that she would return the money to him. The guy just shrugged it off and asked if she worked that hard every day. And Yang Xin replied that she had four jobs. She is quite busy, but still wants to thank the guy and invite him to eat. There was a sudden knock on the door. Yes, they didn't just knock, but almost demolished it from its hinges. From the voice, Yang Xin realized that it was Mr. Hu, and it was not at all appropriate. And what does he want? Collecting his anger and courage, Song Ping said that he would open it himself. As soon as he saw the face of this man in front of him, he immediately asked what he needed, because he had already given the money to him. Crossing his arms over his chest, Mr. Hu asked with an exhalation how the guy could still talk to him in such a tone, and even with a broken face. Lulu encouraged the owner in every possible way. As soon as he stepped a little forward, he clenched his fists and menacingly said to leave because the debt was paid. Yang Xin tried to soften things up a little and said a little friendly that they really had already given him all the money. So what does he need? The man found a tricky loophole and replied that it turned out that he did not calculate the interest then, and therefore she owed him as much as 1,000 yuan. This made Song Ping very angry and he growled in the face of the bald man that he would not receive any more money. For such a thing, Mr. Zhu was ready to fill the face of this bastard again. Song Ping calmed himself inwardly. There was nothing to be afraid of. Now he is much stronger than this pompous turkey. The brunette on the fly caught the hand of a man who writhed in pain and suddenly began to beg to let go. He did not come to life at all that the guy would be so strong and generally be able to fight him back. For now, the bodyguards just stood aside but shouted to the guy to quickly release their master. Continuing to press on his wrist, Song Ping asked the man if he needed any more money now, and he replied that nothing more was needed, as long as he let go of his hand. 
As soon as he got out of the grip, Mr. Hu growled that this kid was definitely in big trouble now. Again swinging at the student, the man did not pour any result because he himself received a kick in the stomach. It was as if his soul was expelled from such a strong blow. Meanwhile, grabbing the girl's hand, Sung Ping reached out of the apartment to get them out of there as far as possible. Already on the street, he could not catch his breath. Wiping the sweat from both of them, Yang Xin thanked him again, but she could not understand how the guy suddenly became so strong because just recently he was lying in a swoon from a single blow. Scratching the back of his head awkwardly, Song Ping replied that the man just hit him very unexpectedly for the first time. The girl with a worried face replied that he should be very careful now because Mr. Hu is a very powerful person in the area, and since the guy beat him, he would most likely find the guy and want to take revenge on him. Leaning against a tree, the young man assured the girl that everything would definitely be alright with him, but she had better move to another place as soon as possible, because that man knows where she lives and can simply knock out the door. The girl sadly said that she would be happy to move, but she just doesn't have money to move, even though she works four jobs. She won't even be able to pay for her apartment soon. Suddenly, Song Ping grabbed the girl's hand and said that she must definitely go with him. From such a sudden gesture, Yang Xin turned something inside. At that time, a couple was walking through the pedestrian crossing, Song Ping's ex-girlfriend and her rich suitor Yu Han. The guy kept thinking why she refused the first time, although now she agreed to be his girlfriend. Last night, in the car, when they were alone, she moved away from him and stopped him, so today he must definitely persuade her. Finally, they reached Kondo Kimin, a wealthy residential complex with beautiful apartments and not far from the university. The girl did not understand why they came to this place, but the guy replied that he wanted to rent an apartment for her, because she now lives in a hostel and it is not very convenient. Moreover, she does not want to stay there forever. Having carefully examined the beautiful residential building, the girl doubted. It must have been very expensive there. Cavalier said it was the best condo around her university, and it wasn't too expensive for him either. So he will shoot her. The girl lit up and thanked Yu Hen. And after that, he grabbed her hand and dragged her to look at the apartment. At the same time, Song Ping and Yang Xin approached the same house. The guy said it should be okay to rent her an apartment. The girl began to refuse because it was very expensive here, but the brunette said that this would be his gratitude because then he might need her help. The most important thing right now is her safety. She can't stay in her last apartment. After minutes of persuasion, the girl gave up and they walked together to the entrance to the building in order to look at the apartment in the same way. There was an awkward meeting inside. Two couples met downstairs, and even there was one realtor. There was a tense and awkward silence for a while. Zai Oki spotted her ex-boyfriend and whispered his name in disbelief. Yuhen was not at a loss. He immediately decided to humiliate the boy by the fact that he was a poor student. The guy clenched his fists in anger but did not answer because he was smarter and did not want to start a quarrel. Yuhen was not like that, so he asked what he forgot here. He's not going to rent an apartment here. After all, he saved up for the phone for three months. And even more so he doesn't have enough money for an apartment. Zai Oki, who had been standing behind him all this time, Plaintively asked to stop, but the guy did not listen, but only hugged the girl and told the guy opposite that Kiki was happy with him, and a rogue like him has no right to love her. While waiting for an answer, Yang Xin looked at her friend, and then she decided to help the guy, and pretending to be his girlfriend, hugged the guy by the hand, called her beloved and asked if they were his friends. The couple in front of them stared at them in shock, because they did not expect such a turn at all. Song Ping understood the pink-haired game and chuckled. Zai Oki asked the girl who she was, and she replied that she was Song Ping's girlfriend and it was a pleasure to meet her. Hua Hai angrily wondered why this boy had such a beautiful girlfriend. With tears in her eyes, Zai Oki congratulated the guys, and Song Ping also congratulated her, not very friendly, for finding herself a rich guy. And after that they parted ways. Hua Hen turned around and admired Song Ping's beautiful figure, he acted like a real womanizer. At this time, Song Ping and Yang Xin were standing near the reception desk and the guy said that he wanted to rent an apartment here. Zai Oki still couldn't figure out how he got so much money for an apartment in this condo. Song Ping also added that he wants the best apartment. After searching for the necessary information for a couple of minutes, the girl at the reception replied that the best apartment in this building costs 6,000 yuan per month. Brunet said that they take. The administrator with a smile came out to them and invited them to look at the apartment. Seeing that Sai Oki was watching them, Yuhen told the girl that they would also shoot the best one. But the girl wriggled out of his hands and said that she did not want to live here and would go back to the hostel. She ran headlong while the guy tried to catch up. Meanwhile, another couple had already entered the apartment and the girl was stunned by beauty. She had never been in such apartments and certainly never thought that she would live in such a place. Song Ping turned to her and said that now they were even. Yaxing Xin said that she immediately knew that it was his ex-girlfriend and decided to help. 
The guy felt a little embarrassed and scratching his head. He replied that all this beetle was long in the past. Yang Xin turns out to be quite good at understanding people and she immediately realized that that rich guy is not a very good person. He was staring at her so much. She thinks he's just playing with his ex-girlfriend. However, the brunette did not care anymore because it was her choice. It's her own fault for being so greedy for money. The pink-haired girl moved very close to the guy and said that she should thank him. Both of their cheeks flushed with embarrassment. However, the long-awaited kiss did not happen because suddenly Song Ping abruptly moved away and said that this was not possible. Yang Xin took his chin, turned to her and asked what was the matter with him. Was he afraid that she would bite him? From this, the guy suddenly started bleeding from his nose, which both did not expect, and the girl answered with a laugh that she would not tease him, so be it. The brunette threw his head back so that the blood would not flow down so quickly and soil nothing. The girl got up from the sofa and said that, in truth, the most ordinary apartment was enough for her. It's not necessary to rent such a chic one at all. Song Ping replied that he was very angry when he saw those two downstairs and he really did not want them to look down on him. Looking at the marble horse on the shelf, the girl whispered that it was all very expensive. For a young man, it was nothing. She can live here for a month and then move to another place. As a result, the girl gave up but said that she must definitely feed him. The guy wouldn't mind a nice meal, but he's got dates tonight, so they can meet over the weekend. In the end, they agreed to meet at the weekend. While walking down the road, Song Ping looked at his phone. He had 20,000 on his balance sheet. He started counting his expenses. At first it was 27,000, then he paid 6,000 for an apartment and a deposit of 1,000, and in the end he only had 20,000 left. There is still not enough money, so the brunette decided to watch some new task. New task, you need to earn 10,000. You can use previously received coins, but the money received for the resale of goods in the application does not count. This means that if he sells the same universal plant that he bought in the app store, then this will not count. Lulu, who was sitting on his shoulder, said that was correct, but he could use the money earned in the app as initial capital. The guy understood everything, because making money for him is not a problem. After some time in Gayot Park, three kilometers from the university, it was already late evening, Yuhen and Zaioki were walking in the park. The girl, realizing that she had flared up during the day, apologized to her boyfriend, and he replied that nothing terrible had happened, it's good that she agreed to take a walk. They need to sit somewhere to distract themselves from bad thoughts. On the way, a couple met a man in a raincoat and hat with a cane. He was incredibly tall, but he just passed by. There was an uneasy feeling from his presence. After a couple of minutes, the young people were already sitting on a bench among the trees, in a remote place where no one could interfere with them. For Yuhen, this was finally a great opportunity to finally convince the girl. He moved as close as possible to her put his hand on the girl's knee, while Zaioki herself rested her head on his chest, looking into the distance with a sad face. Gradually, they all approached and approached, the man's hand climbed up the leg higher, while they were kissing. But then, the girl recoiled and Yu Hen asked what was the matter. The girl asked into the void if there was anyone nearby. Behind the tree, she saw the man who had passed them a little earlier. There was a white mask on his face, and drops of blood were visible. From this, the girl covered her mouth with horror with her hands so as not to scream and looked with all her eyes at this stranger, who was dragging some girl in a purple dress by the scruff of her neck. His gaze was very intimidating. The next morning Moon Ping sat in his room and worked at the computer. He kept trying to sell that plant, and even made an appointment. In the message he wrote that this miraculous plant can cure cancer, and the buyer can find out everything else on the spot. Having put up an ad, the guy wondered if anyone would want to buy it at all. Lulu showed up, as always, without much warning, and said that he had nothing to worry about, because this is the darknet, and there are a lot of bigwigs and rich people here. The guy did not understand what bumps she was talking about, but Lulu thought that he was still too weak to explain it, so she left it for later. That's when it reaches a new level, then they will talk. Song Ping objected, leveling up was too difficult, so he was eager to know everything now. The girl advised him to complete more tasks, but there is another way to increase his level. Soon Pink received a new notification and stared at the screen of his laptop. A certain Tyne Shan old woman wrote to him, where and when they could meet. The brunette was very happy that he could find a buyer so quickly. He did not expect that a buyer would be found so quickly, but this old woman can't really be an old woman. But what difference does it make to him? He just wants to make some money, not a relationship. Having reached some building with a red sign, he realized that he was in the right place. There was a girl with white hair, which was collected in a beautiful hairstyle, and she was very surprised that an ordinary guy came to the meeting. Sung Ping again had a nosebleed from the fact that such a beauty was waiting for him. He awkwardly asked if she was the same old lady. The girl replied that it was just a nickname, and without any preludes asked where the medicine was. The guy said that he brought everything and asked a counter question, where is the patient? Without explaining anything to him, 
The old woman called the guy to follow her. A little later, they entered the ward, where the young lord was met by her bodyguards. Behind the curtain, connected to artificial ventilation, lay her sick father. If his medicine really works, they promise a reward of 2 million yuan. But if it's useless, Song Ping convulsively began to whisper to Lulu what she had dragged him into, and he asked if this medicine would definitely work. She told him to just calm down. Pulling himself together, Song Ping took out a leaf of a plant and brought it to the lips of a sick man. At this time, he was closely watched by the young lady. Her bodyguard, Lin Kang asked if everything was alright, and she suddenly began to reason that people from the darknet are unusual people, and they have a rule that he will not leave if the medicine is counterfeit. He put a leaf in the man's mouth, everyone hid in anticipation of a miracle. Seeing that his father opened his eyes, a girl named Zintong immediately ran up to him and took his hand. She couldn't believe her luck. The man only, just opened his eyes and was still very weak, but he still asked his daughter what kind of place it was. Zintong immediately told him that he was in the hospital. A lot of things had happened during this time. While he was lying, she would definitely tell him everything, but only a little later. Turning to the brunette, the girl sincerely thanked him, and he said that it was just business, so everything was fine. She snapped her finger and Kang brought the promised money. There was two million yuan in cash. From such beauty, the boy's eyes lit up. Taking the suitcases in hand, he was about to leave, but the blonde stopped him. She handed him her business card, although he helped her dad for money, but she is still very grateful to him. Their Yin family has great influence in this city, and if he suddenly needs at least some help, he can call her at any time. Taking a piece of paper in his hand, Song Ping read about the Yinchi Corporation. Saying goodbye, the young man went out the door. At this time, the girl asked her bodyguard to check the identity of this guy. Going down the stairs, the guy received a notification that the task had been completed and the treasure had been upgraded to the second level. The Brunet did not understand how it happened and asked Lulu. She explained to him that he had activated a hidden quest, and now his treasure had successfully advanced to the second level. Now he doesn't need a phone, he can open the app with his mind. The app screen flashed before his eyes, but he wasn't even holding his phone. He did not understand what wealth was, and wasn't their strength, mind, and energy before. Why now appeared spiritual strength and cheerfulness? Lulu explained that he acquires coins by completing tasks. They can be exchanged for money or used in the shop. But wealth is something else entirely. He gets by making money. It can only be used to increase spiritual strength or vigor. Coins are different. They can not only pay for pills that increase vigor and spiritual strength, but also for other goods. For example, such as a universal medicine. Soon Ping still did not understand what spiritual strength and vigor meant. And Lulu began to tell him. This so-called spiritual power is his, so to speak, intellectual abilities, and vigor is the strength of his body. When the guy's vigor reaches 100, he will wake up and become a bump. But I love again did not tell him everything, because it will be later for me. Now the most important thing for a guy is to develop himself. Picking up the suitcases again, a young man started down the stairs. On the way he met a girl with blue hair, in a yellow jacket and an umbrella. They walked past each other, but then the girl suddenly turned around. Taking off her hood, it was Eva Lin and she could not understand why she felt the aura of a fairy, although she passed by an ordinary guy. A girl in a yellow sweater climbed to the roof of the building, where a masked man, who had been in the park the previous evening, was waiting for her. He was sitting on the fence, polishing his little sword. The girl asked if he had killed an ordinary person again. The man yelled at the woman who was wearing purple. It seems that he met her not for the first time. The girl said that she was wearing purple underwear today, so does he really want to kill now too? The man suddenly brandished a knife at her, but she managed to defend herself with her umbrella. Then she bounced off the wall, jumped and laughed, promising that she would stop joking and mocking him. Adjusting his shoulder-length red hair, the man said that everyone who wears purple underwear be damned. The girl suddenly made a serious face and said that she had some advice for him, don't be too careless, otherwise he might attract the attention of the Eagle Pavilion. The man grinned because he was not afraid. The long-haired girl walked to the edge of the roof, looking out over the city from a bird's eye view. So the game has begun. At this time, Sung Ping's account balance was 2,020,337. Most recently, he cut his hair, and now he had a beautiful hairstyle. He bought himself new clothes, and now the guy had an embarrassingly different style. For starters, he needed 2 million. When the guy turned the corner, a blonde girl, Ren Zhu, was waiting for him. She was Shen Kai's roommate. The guy asked how he could help her, and she said that after returning to the dormitory, Kiki did not say a word. The guy replied that he broke up with her, doesn't she know? The girl did not know this and asked when it happened. Then the brunette said that they broke up a long time ago and he was not the reason for this. Renzu said that there is something strange about this situation. Maybe the guy even looked at her. She doesn't know why they broke up. Song Ping was a little gloomy and said that he knew that he and Kiki were very good friends. But he broke up with her because she cheated on him. 
so he wants nothing more to do with her. Have her ask her current boyfriend to visit her. Song Ping left, and Ren now understood why the guy had changed so much. Lulu suddenly said that this girl had just received a super ability. The brunette was very surprised and turned back, but the girl had already disappeared from sight. Ren Zhu had already returned to her room. After catching her neighbor's self-flagellation, Ren asked if she was okay, because it was obvious that the girl continued to shake. And suddenly Kiki whispered about some murderer. She saw how he killed people. Meanwhile, Song Ping asked Li Yulia why a person with abilities should be in the school. Fairy replied that people with abilities can be anywhere, but many, even when they are exposed, do not know what they are capable of. And now it's time to tell the guy something special. Suddenly, Song Ping noticed his friends near him, Ma Yang and Wu Kai, and he asked them what was happening here, because those two were standing near Gu Ming's blue car. The blonde laughed and said that he came just in time because they were talking about compensation. Sung Ping, neither in sleep nor in spirit, what kind of compensation are we talking about at all? And then Gu Ming kindly pointed out that his friend ruined his car, isn't he very rich? So let Sung Ping pay for his repairs. Wu Kai intervened for the red-haired friend, who asked the blonde if this dent on the car was not from a basketball sword. Why then does he ask to pay for his repairs? Song Ping leaned towards the car, stretching out his hand towards the dent. But Gu Ming pushed his hand away and asked what he was doing there. It's his car. What right does he have to touch her? Song Ping said that he knew it was a BMW 3 Series and it cost a little over 4,000,000. So he asked the blonde man how much it would cost to fix it. Gu Ming and his friend laughed. Does Song Ping think that because he won a small prize, he is now rich? And 400,000 is just dust in his eyes. Ignoring the remark, Sung Ping asked his question at half past one. As a result, Gu Ming gave up and said that he needed 10,000 and then he would fall behind them. Song Ping said that he could stop showing off to them. A car that costs 400,000, does he at least value it? The blonde didn't know if he was joking or not. Can he really afford such a car? Song Ping simply handed him the map and said that there were exactly 400,000 gave him a pin code and said it should be enough to buy his used car. The Brunet then took the keys from Gu Ming, opened the driver's side door, and told his friends to get in the car. Confused, Wu Kai sat in the back seat, not understanding what had just happened. In the meantime, two majors were checking whether there really were 400,000 on the card, and made sure that this was true. He couldn't believe his eyes. And how does this guy get so much money? And how much did he actually win? At this time, Wu Kai asked his friend why he bought a car and how much money he actually has since he can just throw it around like that. The Brunet replied that he had just won another lottery ticket. Then Wu Kai asked how much he won again and he really hopes that he did not have to spend everything on this car, but still why did he do it? Song Ping just wanted to buy a car because it would be easier for him to get around. And besides, he liked her quite a lot. While they were driving, a young man noticed Ren Zhu who was leading Kiki across the road. The guy got a new task. He needs to help Ren Zhu complete the investigation. Reward 30 wealth points. Deciding that this matter could not be postponed until later, Song Ping handed the car keys to Wu Kai and told him to drive alone because he had to leave. In closing the car door, the guy ran after the girls. The only thing left for the skinhead was to shout after him. The young man could not understand what the girls were doing and where they were going. They came to a place with a sign that said it was heaven on earth. Song Ping was very surprised, because heaven on earth is a nightclub. The guy was determined to enter this club and see what was inside and why the girls went there. But he was suddenly stopped by Lulu, who warned him that that girl, Renzu, had abilities and there might be others inside, so he couldn't just go inside. Song Ping realized that she was right. First he must increase his energy. As a result, the guy, making sure that there was no one nearby, hid between the houses. Very soon, he will be able to get beyond the ability, as soon as he increases his stats. For secular wealth he had 10. Wealth points 1.7 million. Mental endurance 10. Energy 100. Concentrating heavily on something. The guy suddenly yelled obscenities sharply. He could not bear such a flow of energy, but Lulu told him to endure. Despite the fact that it is unbearably painful, he must endure. All this seemed to pass through him, he seemed to feel the water. When it was over, Lulu asked him how he felt. Beads of sweat rolled down his temples. He replied that all of them are fine, and it seems that he succeeded. Lulu asked him to check what kind of ability he still got. Song Ping concentrated, put his hand out in front of him, and some kind of blue wind blew around him. Then there was a boom and he could not believe if he really got some kind of superpower. The application congratulated the owner on having received the ability, and as a reward he receives one spin of the Wheel of Fortune. He heard about the wheel for the first time, and asked the fairy what it was. She replied that he has a chance to get another ability. Song Ping was surprised at this, is it really such a gift? However, it all depends on his luck. He pressed the button to spin the wheel. At this time, Ren Zhu and Zai Oki were sitting on the red sofa in this club. 
Renzu hugged her friend and said that they would definitely help her, but her friend sat as if in a stupor and was definitely not there. The door suddenly opened and a blonde-haired man in glasses and a classic black suit stepped in. He did not think that such beautiful girls would come to him today, especially Renzu. The man's name was Jed and he was a member of a local gang. Ren got up from the couch and seriously said that she needed his help. Her friend just recently saw a masked man kill a girl, and most likely, this was exactly the guy they were looking for. Ren also heard that the man had joined the G group. Jed laughed. Does this girl really know what she's talking about? The blonde screamed that she was telling the truth, and she even made inquiries on all the reports and is almost sure of everything. Jed replied that she was just an ordinary worker, and there are hundreds of such Kakona, so this is not something she should be thinking about. The girl agreed, but didn't she join here to pay back that super criminal organization? Jed stood up, and putting his hand on her shoulder, said that first she needed to assess the strength of her enemy. She can't go that far. The girl replied in desperation that that was why she had come to him. She hopes that after this message, the organization will be able to focus on him and check if this person is really in Hangzhou. The blonde replied very sharply that they did not need her information, and then he went out and slammed the door behind him. Confused, Zayoki, who was still sitting on that red couch, asked why Ren didn't immediately tell her that they couldn't help. The blonde asked her not to be angry, because they would definitely figure everything out. Since they don't want to lead this investigation, Ren Zhu can only rely on herself. Soon both girls left the club while Song Ping watched them from around the corner. After looking around the place, Ren Zhu asked if her friend had seen that man there. And when she nodded, the blonde sat down on the ground. M suddenly appeared in front of her something resembling a girl. A doll and Sai Oki was very frightened. While her friend was in shock, Ren Zhu used her ability to attack a doll girl that had come out of nowhere. She appreciated her good ability and jumped after her. Ren wondered what it was all about and what she was talking about. Looking to the side, at the frightened Zai Oki, the stranger approached her and asked if she was the one the man had told her about. Could it be that she was an unwitting witness to that murder? Of course, Ren Zhu overheard the conversation. So this girl is talking about the same man who killed the girl, scared Zai Oki and is in the Jai group. The stranger quickly took off and wanted to kill poor Zai Oki. But her friend managed to shout to her because she wanted to attack from above. With her strength, Ren pushed the opponent away, but it was not Ren at all, but Song Ping. The stranger was surprised that two people with abilities stood in her way, but she certainly was not afraid of this. The only one who did not understand anything was Sai Oki, who did nothing but open and close her mouth like a dumb fish. Turning to his ex-girlfriend, Song Ping asked her not to misunderstand him, but he was definitely not here to protect her. He is here to help Ren Zhu. Ren said that she never expected him to have an ability. Lulu whispered that the unfamiliar puppet had 105 energy, which showed how strong she was. And so, Ren Zhu suggested that the guy deal with the opponent together. Silently taking over the role of leader, Song Ping said that she would protect Sai Oki while he took over the puppet. She, by the way, had already sent a bunch of knives in their direction, from which the blonde's eyes climbed onto her forehead, making a circle of magic with his palm. Song Ping was able to deflect these knives and none of them hit their target. The opponent was surprised that he could block her attack. But what will he say to her next action? Will he be able to block the attack from two sides? The guy called a black circle and that girl flew back, and one of the knives hit her right in the forehead. He said that she was a complete fool, and he could only beat her. With panic in her eyes, Ren Zhu asked if this girl was dead, but the brunette said that she was not human, and then he simply began to tear off parts from her face, screws, buttons, and so on. Ren asked what he was doing, and the guy simply replied that he was breaking. At the same time, he had a smile on his face. After some time, the girl sat in front of the masked man and said that one of her dolls was ruthlessly destroyed. It seems that she controls her dolls from a distance, and this is not too difficult for her. But here's the problem, one managed to win. After some time, all the guys ended up in Ren Zhu's house. Zai Oki was safely put to sleep, under a soft blanket, while her friend took care of her. While she was hiding her friend, the girl sincerely thanked Song Ping for helping them today, showed up just in time. The guy himself was sitting on the couch nearby and threw some strange purple stone to the blonde. Song Ping explained that the doll that had attacked them today still had its energy in its body, and it must have been controlled by this contraption. Seeing the inscription evil on this purple pebble, the girl suddenly realized that she had already seen it somewhere. In the Glenix database, she saw a woman named Ziva with evil tattooed on her body. Perhaps it was just her. It was written on the screen whether the guy wanted to choose another task or not. Song Ping did not think that it was possible to simply skip the task. However, it was tempting to get 30 wealth points so easily. He was brought out of his thoughts by Ren Zhu, 
who called him with her. They left the room and while the guy was closing the door of the room behind him, the girl suddenly began to undress abruptly, which shocked the guy very much. He did not understand why she was doing this, but Renzu said that she only wanted to show him something. Turning his back on the guy, he saw a red mark, like a burn, and the girl said that when she was 8 years old, she found out that people can have the ability because her father also had it. However, later, her father was killed by someone, and this someone was called Yuka, and this scar was also inflicted by this man. Song Ping folded his arms and asked why she was telling him this, and then the girl replied that she wanted him to help her. She worked hard to join Glenix and get her revenge on this man. However, after she found information about him, Glenix did not even want to listen to her. And today she saw his strength and that's why she wants him to help her. Well, of course, not just like that. Song Ping was still standing without answering. And Ren Zhu burst into tears for some reason. She knows that this is very brazen of her, but she simply has no other choice. The brunette still at least something finally answered and said that he would help her. He gives his word, but he still needs information about that person and he also needs money. The girl replied that she would provide him with the information he needed. And for the money account, she could give him 500,000. The boy agreed and asked her to take care of Sayoki. He needs to go to the dorm, so he'll be the first to leave. A little later, at the dormitory, Wu Kai said that Gu Ming took his money, but ended up signing the transfer of the car. This news surprised the brunette a little. According to Gu Ming, he modified this car, and now the guy owes him another 100,000 yuan. Song Ping was angry. That's unscrupulous. Kai panicked and asked Wu what they should do now. The brunette noticed that his friend's face was covered in abrasions and asked what happened. Did that bastard beat him up? How dare they? Gu Ming can only do tricks and extort money from Sung Ping. 